Now this problem here uh, is find the general solution of the equation. Uh, now you'll notice here you've got the costs on the left hand side. So it's slightly different. Um, we can uh, find the sum of those angles. So 3 theta plus 2 theta is equal to 90 degrees. Now if cos is on the left hand side then you'll find that cos of 270 plus theta is equal to sine theta. So that would assist us with saying that 3 theta 3 theta minus 2 theta must give us 270 degrees plus k times 360 degrees and that's theta equals 270 degrees plus k times 360 and the other answer there theta is equal to 18 degrees plus k times 72 degrees. Right, in this problem they talk about a general solution of this equation. Uh, you'll notice cos theta and sine theta is in the lowest form. But the coefficients should give us a clue that uh, that could be x and the one year could be y and then using the radius concept so you can get root 3 squared plus uh, 1 squared which is r squared and r is equal to 2 so if r is equal to 2 then I've got root 3 over 2 cos theta plus um, sine of sine theta is equal to half then that will become cos theta cos 30 degrees plus sine theta sine theta sine 30 is equal to half and then we get now and this is the compound angle which is cos of theta minus 30 degrees which is equal to half and then we've got now um, we need to actually we need to actually now uh, say the cos of what is equal to half so theta minus 30 degrees is equal to 60 degrees or theta minus 30 degrees is equal to now in which other quadrant is it positive in the fourth quadrant cos is positive so it will be theta minus that will be 360 minus 60 will be 300 degrees so what we've got now theta is equal to 90 degrees plus k times 360 or theta is equal to 330 degrees plus k times 360 Now this is a slightly easier problem in the sense that uh, uh, I mean it's all already in compound angle form sine A cos B so therefore the problem here would be sine of 5 theta plus 20 degrees is equal to 1 and then we know that uh, 5 theta plus 20 degrees is equal to 90 degrees and then if you're looking at uh, the yeah it should be 5 it should be minus 5 theta minus 20 degrees so it'll be minus 20 degrees there and then you will have uh, 5 theta is equal to 110 degrees plus k times 360 degrees 
and theta is equal to 22 degrees plus k times uh, 72 degrees. This problem here must be treated as a third equation and uh, you'll see the thirds on both sides so what we need to do is to square both sides. So if we square the left hand side you will get 1 minus sine x and if you square the right hand side root 2 will be 2 and you get sine squared x and then uh, you got a quadratic in sine 2 sine squared x uh, plus sine x minus 1 is equal to 0 and then you end up with uh, 2 sine x minus 1 into sine x plus 1 equals 0 and then you've got sine x is equal to half or sine x sine x is equal to 1 minus 1 now from here you will get um, x is equal to 30 degrees or 150 degrees uh, plus k times 360 degrees where k is an element of z or now you're going to get the other answer which is x is equal to now sine of uh, 90 is 1 so we're looking at in which quadrants it is negative it's negative in the third and in the fourth quadrants. So you've got there, you, you've got uh, 270 degrees. Now, the question is, if sine of x is minus 1 day, if you look at there, look, now sine of x, root 2 sine x must be positive. So sine of x should have actually been positive. So at this stage we could have rejected this answer. That is what happens in third, third equations where you have extraneous roots. Uh, in this problem here we've got cos 2 theta plus sine 2 theta is equal to 2 sine squared theta. Now I did tell you that the expansion for uh, sine 2 theta is 2 sine theta cos theta and you will notice that we have uh, 2 sine squared theta so it's advisable to actually change this to cos squared theta minus sine squared theta y you've got 2 sine theta here so you've got cos squared theta minus sine squared theta minus 2 will be minus 3 sine squared theta. So remember we are ch we've changed the cos 2 theta to cos squared theta minus sine squared theta. Now when you are factorizing this you are going to get cos theta into cos theta. Now we've got plus 3 sine theta here and you've got minus sine theta and here you'll get sine theta equals cos theta and which is now divide by both by cos theta you'll get tan theta is equal to 1 or on this side here you will get 3 sine theta is equal to minus cos theta and if you divide you will end up with tan theta is equal to minus one third and uh, they could tell you that this equation is equivalent to solving those two as uh, the alt you know uh, in respect of uh, the multiple choice This problem 2.3, um, which is on page 45, says solve for A and B. 
Now, if you look at this, that's you're looking at compound angles again. So what we need to do is to look at, let's say we are going to subtract them. So we'll get sine, sine A cos B minus cos A sine B and that's equal to 0 0.75 minus 0 0.25 which is 0 0.5 and this is sine of a minus b which is 0 0.5 and then we know a minus b is either equal to 30 degrees and uh, or it could be 150 degrees which is in the second quadrant remember a and b are acute angles it's not a minus b so we could be getting answers for that later on as well now let's add the two so adding the two would have given us sine of a cos of b plus cos of a sine of b and that's will be equal to one and then you are now saying that sine of a plus b is equal to 1 and then a plus b is equal to 90 degrees or 180 minus 90 still gives you 90. Now the interesting part here is we've got two equations, simultaneous equations. a minus b is equal to 30, a plus b is 90 a minus b is equal to 150 a plus b is equal to 90 now let's assume I want to add these two equations so I will get 2a is equal to 120 degrees and then a is equal to 60 degrees and then if a is equal to 60 degrees then if you look at that a is equal to 60 degrees then b is equal to 30 degrees now the other possibility that we've got here is that you've got you've got a minus b now let us assume that we've got uh, a minus we, we said when we added we got that right and uh, now what happens if we uh, subtract it now if we subtract you know when we had it we got a is equal to that now if we do go the other route then we're going to end up with a negative angle and let me just quickly see what happens here if we add a minus b 150 with the a plus b 90 degrees that will be 240 then uh, a will be equal to 120 which is not feasible and then if we subtract a minus b then you get a a minus b if we subtract uh, a plus b minus that we'll get minus angle so the answer is actually they wanted two acute angles so the answer is A is equal to 60 degrees, B is equal to 30 degrees.